Yo, what's going on people? Check it out. So I know you're sick and tired of playing the same exact shapes over and over again when you're playing the modes. So we're going to talk about practicing over that. So let's take one mode and let's play some ideas just for a couple minutes. I'm going to show you some ideas that I would play or sit down and use uh, when I'm practicing and studying modes and coming up with shapes, right? So using the E Dorian mode, we're in the key of E Dorian. Let's use that to our advantage. So E Dorian scale, E Dorian arpeggio. You know, doubling up the notes, different patterns that way. Just think outside of the box. Just even any pattern. You know, just any pattern dealing with those notes, you can go outside of that too with a Dor with an Ionian. Ionian. You can use the blue scale. So E blue scale, which is sort of an E Dorian scale. You can use the pentatonic scale. You can displace it, you can do it in fourths, you can do it in exercises, thirds. The same thing with the scale. I'm just doubling up each note. It makes it a little bit tougher, a little bit harder, but start somewhere. Play the Lydian. If we were playing a Lydian scale, we have Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian. See how crazy that sounds? <laughs> I don't want to put you guys in this box and give you this one thing to practice. I want you to be able to take the knowledge that you have and displace it, right? You know, playing a, a plethora of, of different things, modes, exercises, arpeggios. I played a major seven arpeggio with the Ionian, the, uh, the D Ionian, and then the E Dorian. I play the descending arpeggio, the minor seven arpeggio like that. Once you get used to something, the, the whole goal is to grab onto something that you like. You like a sound like that, that Lydian. That Lydian sound or that major seven arpeggio sound. I get it. I get that you're stuck and not sure what to do. There's only so many things you can do. There's only 12 notes. It's like how many things I can, how many ways can I play 12 notes? Actually, there's tons of ways you can play 12 notes. Just don't think ascending, descending, in chronological order, like just try to get out of that. That's a this is a baseline. This is a foundation that you can use. You don't have to stick with that. It's it's not permanent. You can use a pentatonic scale. You can use a, a alteration blues scale. You can use the um, Dorian arpeggio. Uh, you can use the other modes to your advantage. Uh, you can. Doubling up notes work really well. Uh, but anyway, so, so many things that you can do, so many different ideas that you can use. But anyway, we'll talk about this a little later, a little bit more inside of the academy, obviously. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Thank you guys in the next one. Also, if you wanna know more, if you wanna learn more or talk more about this stuff, please, please, please comment below. below. I don't know if you guys, I was trying to say I don't know and comment below. I don't know if you guys are interested more in this or more in other subjects. If you don't let me know, please comment down in the comment section uh, in this reply. So I'll check you guys in the next one.